So you're gonna play druid, huh? Transforming into animals while also being so in touch with nature, man. Maybe you were like, huh, ranger looks cool, but I wanna play something that's actually fun. <laughs> Maybe you just want to look at your dungeon master right in his eye sockets and say, You know what? Screw you! Screw you and your whole game! I'm a druid! The f*** <laughs> you're gonna do about it? Here's how to play druid. Druids are notoriously one of the most fun, straightforward, and easy to understand classes to play. This is wrong. At level 1, you gain two abilities, Druidic and Spellcasting. Druidic is a language that only other druids can speak and understand. Much like hobos and gangsters, you graffiti up a wall with your language to pass on secret messages. What does it say? You know, I don't, I don't know. I've never seen this language before. It's very... almost poetic and beautiful. I think it's that, like, Druidic... Yeah, how can you tell it's poetic? We can't even read it. I have no idea. The world may never know. Spellcasting! You gather magic from nature itself to bring upon the world! I was gonna make a joke about how druids get lots of fire spells so they can bring down the forest that they love so much. But if you think about it, druids are forces of nature. They take the elements and use them like the forces of nature. They aren't trying to protect the sky, trees, and grass. They are the sky, trees, and grass. Meaning there are also storms, electricity, and fire. Like when lightning strikes a forest, it can be kind of healthy. They control nature to their whim, but also follow its path to ensure its survival. So yeah, that's why druids get flame blade. In a mechanical sense, druids have the hard way of preparing spells. Instead of it being an easy management process like the bard or sorcerer, you wake up every morning and flip through your thousands of spells to pick what you want like you leveled up yesterday. I'm looking at you too, cleric! Yes, of course you could just stick with the same spells all the time, but the class is built around you changing up your spells each day, which means you got to go learn all the damn spells you get when you level, and all I'm saying is that this gets really confusing for new players who don't understand all the spells or are just wanting to play an easy class where you get to turn into kitty cats, don't at me. Gosh dang it, playing a druid is so difficult. There's so many problems and it's so confusing. If only there was something that made it a little bit less difficult. Easy roller dice! Guys, get yourself some easy roller dice. We have a coupon code in the description to get yourself 15% off these... These dice right here, they're super high quality, they're made of metal, and there's even these really great spacious bags. Easy roller dice, because we need to pay our rent. Level 2, Wild Shape and Druidic Circle. Wild Shape, as an action on your turn, you can transform into animals. Woo! Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did you think it was that easy? Did you think it was that easy? Ah! Welcome to Druid, idiot! Honestly, this is why I defend Marisha when people get upset at Keyleth. Druid is a seriously confusing and difficult class to play all the time and maximize potential in roleplay, so I think it was just hard to manage and it's not her fault. I'm gonna give two explanations, the full explanation and the easy explanation. Here are the basic rules. As a bonus action on your turn, you can magically transform into a beast of your choice that you have seen in real life before. Yes, that means you have to have a list of animals you've probably seen as your character. You can do this twice per short or long rest. Oh <laughs> well, gosh, then I'll just turn into a crocodile. What? No! Stop assuming you know everything, you creative idiot! At level 2, you can only turn into animals that can't fly or swim, and they have to be below a CR of 1 fourth. What? What? What CR? It's challenge rating. It basically means how powerful a monster is, though it's wildly inaccurate sometimes. Can I cast spells? Nope. Can I concentrate on spells? Yes, unless they need extra actions. Where does my stuff go? It's sucked into your body fat and you can't reach it, unless you choose to put it next to you. Or you can try to wear something if it's up to your DM. God, why are there so much detail on these rules? Oh, okay, well, that sure is a lot to manage, but uh, is there just a list of these animals somewhere? No! 
I mean, unless you use D&D Beyond, there is no list of the possible animals that you can turn into. You, instead, you gotta spend even more time flipping through the book and picking animals that you have seen and that you can turn into. You have to have your own little personalized list of animals that you can turn into, possibly, that you have maybe seen before. That is a lot of, oh my god. To all of you saying that Druid isn't a difficult class to play on my What Class Should You Play video, this is why! Imagine someone brand new to the game just wanting to play a Druid and turn into animals and catch nature spells, and they gotta go through all this crap. Not only that, but the Dungeon Master is also having to manage this as well. Knowing these spells and stat blocks and what they can turn into, even if the player doesn't know the class, the Dungeon Master will have to take up the homework of making sure they can turn into correct animals, and sometimes just ignoring the rule altogether for more fun and an enjoyable game. I really just wish there was a list of animals you could turn into, or even a base stat block with abilities that you could add in the Druid section, so you could have some basic animals that you can easily reference. Maybe three or four, like Cat, Eagle, Bear, Octopus. Yeah, I know they're in the back of the book, but it would be really, really helpful if they were also in the front. Done! That's enough, at least then you can uh, always add some flavor or cool abilities if you want to be a different animal, or if you really want to, you can go through and do all the homework of going through the monster manual. <sighs> Sorry guys, that was a long rant. So, what's the easy explanation of Wild Shape? You can turn into animals, you can turn into weak animals right now, but when you level up, you can turn into stronger ones. You can do this two times until you rest. Druidic Circle! This is your subclass. You can choose what kind of nature you pull from in the multiverse. As of this video, there are four subclasses. Two in the player's handbook and two in Xanathar's guide. They include Circle of the Land, Circle of the Moon, Circle of Dreams, and Circle of the Shepherd. Circle of the Land Druids pick a terrain and get neat spells from it. This is a fun way to flavor your druid if you want to be a desert druid or an arctic druid. It's a really great way to flesh out your character and concepts. Circle of the Moon. The circle that everyone actually picks because being able to wild chip as a bonus action is freaking amazing. And who cares if you have hold person and slow. You also get the ability to become more powerful animals. Yeah, wizards, what were you thinking? Everybody's gonna pick this one over the other one. I, I, circle of Dreams. When they were writing Xanathar's Guide, they realized that druids should have more abilities to heal. So Circle of Dream druids gather magic from the Feywild to heal others a lot of hit points. You can also give your party bonuses to stealth and perception, along with revealing hidden paths. Circle of the Shepherd. Yeah, basically dreams, but way better. You can summon animal totems to buff your party along with bonuses to summon animals. Druid is one of those classes that get no other abilities besides subclass and spells until higher levels. So let's just skip on over to those higher levels. 18th level, Timeless Body. As a druid, your communing with nature has given you the lifespan of a tree. You can now live forever. Well, every 10 years is like one year of aging for you, so you're basically immortal. As if wizards didn't already want this class to be godlike in comparison to the bard. This is just another slap in the face. Also, at level 18, you can cast spells while you're in wild shape. Woo! 20th level! To all of you who are new to the channel, welcome! This is the part where I freak the fuck out over the 20th level ability. I am typically very upset or overwhelmed with how crappy or amazing this ability is. There is no in the middle. So after this entire class, all its abilities to be able to summon snakes, turn into whales, and summon flame blades and speak secret languages, wait, you can deal lots of damage. You can hide in plain sight, and you can speak a secret language. My god, Druid. You were the rogue the whole time! You slimy bastard! You've been transforming into these overpowered piece of shit classes for far too long! No, you're wrong. The DM is our enemy. We must defeat them! <laughs> Not like this. You can't just overpower them with complicated abilities and loophole rules! You can't! Well, we can. And we will. I will summon my thousands of creatures, hide in the shadows, do tons of damage, while being able to be unseen. No. And always be gaining on level 20 ability. No! Read it and weep. At 20th level, you can use your wild shape an unlimited number of times. Additionally, you can ignore the verbal and somatic components of your druid spells as well as any material components that lack a cost and are consumed by a spell. You gain this benefit in both your normal shape and your beast shape from wild shape. Ah!
Everybody, thanks for watching that super cool video. We have an awesome announcement. We have a merch store. Uh, t-shirts. We currently have t-shirts, hoodies, uh, beanies, maybe, I think, hats, socks. At some point, we're gonna have a lot more uh, variety of options right now. We, right now, we really only have the logo um, as an option, but in the future, we're gonna get some more. We have some voting going up on the Patreon. So if you want to support the channel and you want to get yourself some cool merch, come check out our store. There's a link in the description and uh, get, get yourself some, 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 some merch. Also, my sweet dear mother is the one running this entire thing because we're a professional operation.